Ayo, hey, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude. I'm that one dude. I'm 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 that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Ravenous Devils. <laughs> This time around, we are going to take things at a different approach because I was stressing out like crazy last episode. Things were getting intense now that we have the tables. We have Elliot working here. I got three mannequins now up in the tailoring shop. So I think just like with the tables and the extra stuff in the kitchen, bringing in more people for food, I think that the tailor, the mannequins are going to bring more people in for the tailoring shop. More people means more bodies and more bodies means more food because right now my meat is also kind of lacking. That is not a euphemism for anything. Don't take it out of context. <laughs> I'm all set up. I've done all the preparations. There's only six plates here because I don't want to make another steak uh, platter in case somebody comes in for anything like sausage or uh, steak related. You know, there's plenty of minced meat, so I'm not really worried about that, but I think we are ready to start our day. We have 15 pounds, let's get it. That is pounds, right? Nobody has corrected me about that so far. I'm pretty sure it's pounds. We got our first family. One thing that I did not realize when I had started the last video, I, I completely missed out on all the tutorial stuff, but Elliot is supposed to take the order, so I don't have to move. Hildred does not have to move a step. Uh, all she really has to do is grab the food, make it, and send it up to Elliot, and he's going to deliver the food. And that was where I went wrong, was that I assumed that Hildred had to take the food up to the people at the table and Elliot was just taking the orders, but that's not the case. I completely missed that part because he's going to do everything up in, oh shit, I completely forgot about this too. <coughs> yeah, so check that out. So he is now taking the food. Why does he walk like that? He's taking the food to our people and they're, they're slightly satisfied. They're doing pretty good. They're enjoying themselves. Let's make a pie. It's been a while since we've made a pie. We'll send some pies up to the people. And at the moment, with there only being one table, it seems like one or two families usually come in for the day. So I don't really have to worry too much about prepping a full plate of anything. You know what I mean? I Yeah, you know what I mean. Minced meat, put it on the table, put it in the oven, cook it. They need their food. They want their food now. Yeah, at this point with, you know, adding the tables and everything, there won't be total satisfactory anymore. But what I can do is I can start making stuff or I can start adding decorations to the shop because that increases the wait time. Yeah, OK. All right. OK, let's look at that. We had seven mixed reviews, no bad ones, but it didn't bring our reputation down. We're slightly going up a little bit less than we were before. But it's fine. No restaurant is going to be perfect. There's always that one, that one instance. What does the cat do? Get a lovely friend in the kitchen and remember to pet him. But what exactly does that do for me? <laughs> what is, what does that do for my sake? The gin resets the patient's client or the, the client's patience. So I want to say that that's probably what we're going to want to go for. Uh increase clients patience i'm thinking we want to get all the decorations before we start adding more tables i want to be absolutely prepared before i start adding more tables and before i start the garden because i know that's going to be hectic too i don't know what i have to do for the garden but it's going to be hectic so i want to make sure that i'm prepared yeah let's add some decorations all right look at that we almost have every upgrade for the so or for the tailoring lab, the pub, and the kitchen. I'm very curious as to how the um, the gin works because if they win, at what point will Elliot take the uh, take the food to the people? You know, like when they start waiting, how long do they have to wait before Elliot prepares them a meal or I mean a cup of gin? Those decorations do really good with uh, increasing the wait time because by now they would have already been in the yellow. That's fantastic. Oh, shit. I love that. 
Hell yeah! Alright. Okay, so decorations are gonna really want to be my go-to. The gin, I, I assume, is gonna help a lot as well. Look at that! Smiles all around! Smiling friends, smiling faces. We are bringing in racks. I keep forgetting that I need to commentate because like I'm so laser focused, but everything seems to be going pretty good. These people went into the yellow, like the low yellow, just because I didn't have any minced meat. So I had to actually chop up one of the bodies. Again, things I never thought I'd be saying in my life in a serious matter at that fact. Oh, uh, what's happening now? No, I don't know what happened to your husband or your brother or your friend. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you are still close, but I need something to drink. Oh, welcome back, darling. Sure. Please, sit. I'll get you some of our gin. It's made with the blood of the guests that come in here to feast on their own friends. I'm sorry you had to go last time. I'm sure you can go back to Percival at any moment. He must have some time for you. Oh no, don't worry. I don't need that dress anymore. Why the long face? Is there something on your mind? I've been thinking a lot lately. Do you ever wonder what lies beyond death? Only those who have enough to eat each day of their lives can afford to ask themselves such a deep question. With all due respect, of course. But you have most, but you must have some kind of idea. What's going to happen to her soul? If it makes you any happier, I think death is just the absence of life. A dark void. And as for my soul, I don't think there's much I can do about it. I understand. Only darkness. Anyway, if I were you, I would concern myself with more worldly thoughts right now. Your bill, for example. This shit wasn't free. <laughs> you have an eternity to think about death. Oh, that was funny. Your thoughts don't help me at all. Darkness frightens me. Bitch. <laughs> oh. I'm having too much fun adding extra dialogue that doesn't need to be there. Get the last decoration. And then we still have 30 pounds for something else. And I'm thinking either another mannequin or the cat for whatever reason. I kind of just want to get the cat to see what it does buy a warm couch for your cat cool no idea why i did this but we got a new recipe what does this recipe include oh 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 hmm hmm mm -mm. no 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 no. No. Look at it! We got a little snuggly cat! Oh, I'm gonna pet him. Oh, he's such a good boy! Oh, he's such a good boy! Oh, and I'm definitely not gonna wash my hands after petting the cat. But then again, we're eating people, so... Fuck all if I care. We're open for business! Now selling rats! I mean, now selling... Rodent on a stick! I would probably turn away if I heard either of those two statements, but this is tough times for all these people. They really want their meat one way or another. All right, what do they want? Whatever it is, I got it. I got it on the fly. They don't even have to worry about wait time. Wait time is non-existent here. No, no, put that down, put that down. Wait time is non-existent here. We have all the finest meats, the freshest foods in record time. You don't even have to worry about it.
Damn, I really tried to get that before it hit the yellow, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Pretty soon I'll be making food faster than you can say yeehaw. I don't know. Oh, look at that. The cat came back with the rodent, and I'm going to cook it. Because that's totally sanitary. That's Move. totally a normal thing to do. Ooh, no. Oh, thank you. So it seems when I pet the cat, it takes a second for the cat to come back with a rat. And that's that's the way I'm supposed to get the rats. Which, not sure why anybody would want that, but it's an option now. What you want? What you want? I got it on the fly. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. I wasn't prepared for you to order another one of those. Oh, buddy. We're not going to get there before it hits the yellow, but at least they're not upset that their food is late. For some reason, this is so much easier than running a supermarket. <laughs> the supermarket is fun, but this is easier. I'm kind of just breezing by now. Now that I understand that Elliot does almost everything up here in the pub, and then I take care of everything in the kitchen. The meat is going to be the only thing that I need to work on, is trying to make sure that I have enough bodies so that I can make enough meat for the next day. And the day is over. Day is over. Day ends. What's happening now? Good morning, madam. Hello, little one. So, did you find mum? No, but I, I'm coming to terms with it. Maybe she has left me. An extra mouth to feed must be a burden. That's so sad. Undoubtedly. It's irresponsible to have kids these days. Do you have children, madam? You can call me Hildred, darling. And no, I don't. I would eat them before I had them. I don't think I would make a good mother. No one can blame me for that. I was not raised for it. Would you like some gin, my darling? Nope, I... Gin... Well, this is like the 50s, I think, so... Kids were allowed to drink alcohol, I think. Right? Surely a drop of gin would make you feel better. Yes, please! Where were we? Ah, yes. My father raised me and there wasn't much time for dilly-dally. I had to take care of the pigs. But wouldn't you like to have a child? I told you, boy. They are expensive. I'm trying to run a shop here. I barely have the money to do that. Now drink that gin. It'll warm you up. It's freezing outside. Thank you kindly, Lady Hildred. Have a good day. <gasps> oh, my name is Peter, by the way. Peter Parker. <laughs> All right, Peter. See you soon. Cool. So we're just handing out gin to anybody. Just handing this stuff out like it's... Miley Pops! So this time around, I'm going to get another mannequin. The last of the mannequins, that's everything for the tailoring lab. As far as I know. And then we're going to get another workbench. So that I can make more food. Or at least have one sitting out. Because I only have two ovens. And if I have three workbenches, two of them can be for the ovens. One of them can be just to have food sitting and waiting for potential table orders. That way I can be a little bit more organized with the way that I am making my food. So here's the strategy, right? I only have one sausage left. I have two steak pieces and I have three pieces of minced meat. I have the minced meat sitting here in case somebody orders either the pie, so I just need to grab the flour or just whatever the minced meat makes by itself. I have a steak sitting here and then I could put a sausage there, but I'm going to leave that one for when I run out of food up here. Everything's ready. Almost everything is ready in the tailoring shop. We're all set. I have I have a decent strategy. I feel like I'm prepared, well set and ready. My next upgrade might be another table. I think I might be confident enough to get another table, but we'll see how today goes. All right, cool. So they just want sausages. 
I need to go ahead and make the sausages. Kill this guy. Throw that in the oven. Throw this guy down the cellar. Wait for this to finish cooking. Throw this guy down the cellar. Still waiting for this to take this out and throw it up in the dumb waiter. Still putting this guy in the cellar, cleaning up his mess, throwing this into the dumb waiter. Having Elliot take it. <laughs> before the yellow, before the yellow. Come on, before the yellow. Let's go, before the yellow. Come on, Elliot, move faster, before the yellow. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, alright, alright. No time to celebrate. The day just started. Oh, don't put that down. Whatever you want, I hope has nothing to do with sausage. Please, give me like a mincemeat or a steak meal or even the fucking rats. Okay, I can deal with that. That works. I didn't have that prepared, but as long as you wait patiently, I should have your food lickety split here. Oh, we got that. No more mixed reviews. No more mixed reviews. It's too damn... I'm too damn good at the game now to be doing all this. I want to get that to them before the yellow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, it would be nice if I could get that to them as soon as they want it. But I know that that's probably not possible right now. I think this is still a good rating, though. They're in the green, and it's a smiley face. So I think it's fine. And I'm gathering up plenty of bodies to make for after the store closes. That should be my last client for the displays. These are our last clients at the tables. That was our last tailoring client. I'd say uh, we're making a name for ourselves. We're making we're making quite the accomplishment. Uh oh, another cutscene. Oh, it's our guy. He is really struggling to get up these stairs. Finally, a decent place where I can buy some larger trousers. But good lord. <laughs> How did it cross their minds to put a tailor shop upstairs? Ah, my chest, the pain. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. Oh, is he actually, I guess we won't. Oh, and nobody else is concerned about him. Absolutely nobody else was concerned. What was that noise? It sounded like an earthquake. Absolutely nobody was concerned about this guy. Hildred, Hildred, hurry. A man has been injured. Do you hear me? A man has hurt himself. He's fallen and he can't get up. What's all that yelling about? I'm trying to get some work done down here. I should go check. There'd better be a good reason for this. Oh, there's a good reason. There is a great reason. Oh my god! It's Mr. Gilbert, my dear. Hurry, let's take him inside and cook him. His blood sugar must have been low, the poor fellow. No, he's got a fucking heart attack because he's humongous. Low blood sugar? Really? How do you come to that conclusion? He's as heavy as a horse. It was the first thing that came, to my, came into my mind. Besides, you've seen the people in this town. No one cares to lend their fellow man a hand. All they care about is their own business. And we are fine with that. I didn't even need to get my hands dirty this time. Look at him. He killed himself. I'll take him upstairs with the other one. Woo! Woo! We're just collecting bodies upstairs. And we're okay with it. Help Gilbert. What a thud. Okay. Look at that! 
We had all good orders. I'm telling you. We we're, we're doing the damn thing now. But am I ready for another table? You know what? I'll save it for the next video. I'll, I'll save it for the next part of uh, Ravenous Ravenous Devils. Because I feel like we have done quite a lot in just this one episode. We had so many cutscenes. We got so many upgrades. And I think that a new table would be a great addition to the next part of this series. I don't know how much of the story is left. I don't know if we have to fully upgrade everything before we get to the end of the story. But I'd say we're we're doing good for ourselves because once we get the garden, that'll be the last thing or the greenhouse. That'll be the last thing that we need. And we pretty much have all the upgrades for everything else. Oh, but I want to play more. I want to keep playing. Nah, I shan't. I shan't. I have to show self-restraint. That is all the time I have for this video. I'm going to end it here. I know we're all having a great time. We're all having fantastic time mercilessly killing everybody in this town and cooking them up for food and stealing their clothes so that we can refine them for other people's enjoyment. But all good things must come to an end. If you want to see my last video, which was the demo for Amanda the Adventurer 2, I'll have that link somewhere around here. Had a lot of fun with that. It was kind of short. It was it was simple, but the full game's coming out in the fall. So subscribe if you're new. And be around for that. If you want to see the last episode of Ravenous Devils, I'll have that also linked somewhere around here. You'll notice the chaos and destruction that we went through, and it wasn't fun. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy, and big body out.